Hey YouTube, hey everybody, welcome back to our Bop, Riddick's Book of Philosophy. This is where I talk about what I want to talk about and say what I want to say, guys. Uh, it is the 1st of January, 2015. Woohoo! Happy New Year, Happy New Year, guys. Um, where I am, there is some celebrations. They have some celebratory fire <laughs> and fireworks. <laughs> All I can say is, small explosions are okay. It's the big ones that are bad for your health. <laughs> Everything here is fine, guys. Um, but I do want to wish everyone a happy new year. And I wish everyone prosperity and growth in 2015, guys. I hope that everything is okay with you. I hope you. I wish you guys growth in your relationships. I wish you guys uh, growth you know where this is going, right? <laughs> uh, and prosperity, guys. And I wish you guys growth in knowledge and your your uh, uh, strive quest or seeking of it. All right, guys. Um, now, what I really want to talk about, guys, in regards to growth, <laughs> here's the segue. <laughs> How do you grow? A YouTube channel guys how do you grow a YouTube channel all right all right the first thing you need to do is have a channel that's enjoyable all right guys if people don't enjoy your channel it's not gonna grow people are not gonna click it click it they're not gonna come back all right have a channel that's enjoyable uh, I don't really care or it's not really important what the subject is as long as people enjoy hearing or seeing the information about this subject. It really doesn't matter. Okay? Now, speaking of that, another thing that will help you with growth <laughs> of your channel is uh, have some original content. Your, your content has to be original. There's a lot of channels out here, in my case, cooking channels, but there's only one Daddy Cooks. There's only one channel that does it my way. Okay? Um, on top of having content that's original, all right, and enjoyable, you want to have some information uh, that's sought after. All right, let me tell you a story, okay? My two biggest, uh, 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 ch uh, not channels, my two biggest videos came about because of information I was seeking, okay? Um, I started out smoking uh, food on my barbecue grill and someone, I can't remember, his name, I think his name was Jeff S. Yeah, that was a screen name, Jeff S. I gave him a shout out on the actual video. Um, he's like, man, you be, uh, it'd be a whole lot easier for you to smoke a brisket or smoke a, uh, a, a pork butt uh, if you had a UDS. I'm like, a UDS? The hell's a UDS? An ugly drum smoker, okay? Or an upright drum smoker, whatever you want to call it, okay? My biggest video, my most popular, my highest grossing video is my... Uh, how to build an ugly jump smoke video. All right, guys. And um, the reason I made it is because I couldn't find any information on it. I mean, I found a lot of uh, information on what they were, uh, but there was no detailed video on how to make one. All right, guys. So I made one. All right. I couldn't find the information, so I made a video with that information. Biggest video I got. Okay, guys. Uh, another one is my chitlin video. Uh, a lot of people cook them. There's a lot of recipes out there for them, but I do mine a specific way. Second biggest video. All right. Who knew? But that's the way it turns out. All right, guys. Okay. Um, another thing about a video, if you want a, a successful video, guys, uh, I mean a successful channel, make it about something that you're interested in something that you like because I guarantee you if you like it somebody else likes it if you want to know about it somebody else wants to know about it all right guys um case in point our bop this right here I have not found a channel that had a lot of detailed information the way I'm planning on doing this channel on how to build make maintain a YouTube channel all right, there's a lot of people that give you advice, information on stuff, but not a detailed channel on a person that's actually making videos, how they do it, point A to point B. 
all right? Arba. That's why I made this channel. Hopefully it will be successful because I wanted to know more and couldn't find the information I wanted, so now I'm making it. If you want to know about it and you can't find it, make it. Trust me, somebody else is looking. Why else are you guys here? Ha <laughs> ha, right? Okay. All right, guys. Uh, how else do you grow your channel? One thing you want to do is you want to build relationships, all right? Not boyfriend, girlfriend type of stuff. Build relationships with other channels. Find like channels, all right? In my case, uh, cooking channels. And what I did was I started watching the channels that I enjoyed and I started commenting, okay? I started making a comment. Hey, that really looked good. Thanks for the uh, video. Thanks for sharing. I started commenting, okay? Now, why is that important? Because after a while, people start noticing the people that comment the most. The name just gets familiar. Okay, how do I know this? Because I do it all the time. I have certain people that I expect to comment. All right? It, it kind of hurts my feelings if I don't see something from them. Okay? After you see the names for a while in your comment section, sooner or later you're going to click. Click up just to find out more about that person. And guess what? That person that you were commenting on, that high profile person just looked at your channel. Okay? Now, what I did along with that is making comments is I asked people, hey, my name's Phil. I'm the, the cook and daddy cooks, or this is my channel. Um, please take a look at my channel. And if you think I'm worthy, if you like my channel, would you put me on your favorites? You know, on the side of the channel where you have your favorites, you can go to daddy cooks. I have a long list of my favorites or uh, uh, daddy's recommendations. All right, ask them. And what I did was, I really like your content, I like what you're doing, I put you on my favorites. I would really appreciate it if you put me on your favorites if you like my videos, if you like my channel. It works. Right after I started doing that, my channel started blowing up, okay? So you want to see if you can get on that favorites list, okay? Ask and you shall receive. I mean, if they like you, they will add you in most cases, okay? Also, look at your subscribers. You'll be surprised at who subscribes. If you have a good channel, you'll be surprised at who subscribes to you. I've gone through my list and it's like, I didn't know that person subscribed and I'll go straight to their channel and say, hey, I've been watching you for a minute. Hey, I'm gonna put you on my favorites. Will you put me on your favorites? It works. You click on the favorites on Daddy Cooks and go to their page and look at their favorites, I'm probably on it, all right? Mutual, uh, 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 a mutual thing. Nice. All right, now another thing is annotations. Annotate to grow your channel. Right there at the beginning, I've just started doing this. Right there at the beginning or in the end, click here to subscribe. You can do that uh, in your uh, video manager, okay? We'll talk about that in another video on how to do that, okay? Another way to grow your channel, guys, very simple, is ask them to. You look at every successful channel and somewhere it's gonna say, please click, like, subscribe. They ask you to, all right? Easiest thing to do, okay? All right, another way to grow is uh, uh, keywords and uh, making sure you have a good description, but we'll talk about that another time. You know, have good keywords um, so that they click, you know, if, okay, let me put it this way. Let's say you're doing a video on how to tune up a car, okay? If your keywords, your title was how to tune up a car and someone freaking types in searching for how to tune up a car, you're gonna fit right in there with a million other people, okay? You want some specificity. That's a $10 word, right? Specificity, you wanna be specific. How do you tune up a 1995 uh, Chevy Camaro such and such a model, all right? Because someone with a Chevy Camaro such and such a model might be searching for that specifically and then your video will be at the top of the list instead of how to tune up a ship. Make sense? Okay. Uh, another way, after you start growing, guys, uh, you can give incentives. Okay? And you know, I do it. A lot of people do it. You give incentives. You do giveaways. I'm notorious for my $50 um, Amazon or $50 um, Walmart gift cards. And people are like, that's excessive, man. You give away too much. I'm like, no. You know, it's a return on your investment, the way I look at it. Okay? Um, but people do that. Uh, giveaways. Another way is, I'm going to do this. If I reach this many subscribers, if I get to 1,000, I'm gonna go pop goes the weasel, whatever it is, guys. Quid pro quo. 
tit for tat, this for that. If you guys do this, you get me to this number of subscribers, I will do this. I'll put on a tutu. I'll sing a song. I'll give away money. Whatever it is, quid pro quo. You want to have some type of incentive, and that will help you. That will help you. Okay. Another way to help with your exposure for growth is <laughs> use your social media, guys. If you got a Facebook page, make a Facebook page. I have my personal, okay, and unfortunately there are very few strangers, not to call you guys strangers, that I accept to my personal page, Philip Riddick, because that's for my friends and my family. But I do have a Daddy Cooks uh, YouTube, I'm sorry, Facebook page, and I accept all kinds of people, okay? And you make comments, you can link your videos, you can do a bunch of things. There's people on Facebook that might not come to YouTube, but if you link your video and they click on it, boom, you still get the click. All right, guys? All right. Then Twitter, I don't have a Twitter account, but the same thing applies to Twitter. Okay. Another suggestion, and this is something I'm going to plan on doing, not going to plan on doing, I'm planning on doing it now, something I'm going to be doing, is business cards. Make some business cards, because I talk to a lot of people, which I'll come to here next, but I talk to a lot of people, hey, how you doing? I'm at the grocery store, yeah, I'm buying this, that, that, I'm getting ready to cook something fantastic. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, I got a YouTube channel. Oh, really? Write that down for me. Well, if you have a business card, all you have to do is go, there you go, instead of trying to write it down. It might help. I haven't tested this theory yet, but my brain, our Bob tells me that it's going to work, all right? And then word of mouth, talk about your channel. Get your friends to talk about your channel. I'm pretty sure if you see a video, one of mine, that you like, you probably tell somebody about it. Talk about your channel. You know, don't rely on other folks. Promote yourself. <laughs> Promote yourself. All right. Now, um, you want to do whatever comes to mind, not whatever comes to mind. You want to be smart, have some type of strategy on how you're going to grow your channel. All right. Now, here's the conundrum. Here's the funny thing. <laughs> I'm talking to you right now on how to grow a channel on my brand new channel that I'm trying to grow. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> so we'll see if any of this stuff works out. Guys, Daddy Cooks is doing great. I'm trying to see if this is going to grow. All right. Um, another way to keep your subscribers or get your subscriber base to grow or to maintain it is talk to them. I talk to you guys. All right. And also answer comments. I answer questions. I do that a lot. I didn't used to always do that, but now I do. I answer as many comments as I can. All right. Now, why is that important? Because people know you're real. All right. I get a lot of comments. Hey, man, thanks for responding so quick. I didn't really think you were going to say something back to me. Thanks, Phil. I really appreciate it because you're real. If people like you, they'll really like you if you're not just that dude on the channel. If you're a real person, people have a tendency to like you. At least that's the way I think. Okay. And then another thing is shout outs. People like to hear their name <laughs> on YouTube. You give a shout out, all right, because they asked for it or because they did something for you or just because you wanted to give them a shout out. You give a shout out, y'all. And what do you think they're going to do? Hey, check this video out. This dude called my name. Okay. We ain't famous, but we're popular. All right, guys. Shout outs. That's another way to grow your channel. All right. Another way to produce growth. That's so funny. Anyway, um, y'all see the words popping up. I do that now. Y'all tell me what you think. I think it's pretty snappy. It's kind of, it takes me a little bit of work to come up with a segue. <laughs> How do I get this word, my topic to slide in? <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. All right, guys. But anyway, that's all I'm going to say. It's going to be a short video. Um, the best way to grow your channel is to pay attention to what the other people are doing as well. Ask the questions. If you have a fledgling channel, just ask somebody, hey, what did you do? How did you get your channel to grow, blah, blah, blah. I, I can't guarantee. If you were to ask me, I would tell you and give you some pointers. And most people, I think in my brain, would do the same thing, all right? If they don't get all big headed and think they're famous or something, all right, guys? Okay? And another thing, let me say that real quick, guys. If you can at all possible, if you do make a YouTube channel and you do get very popular and all that stuff, don't lose yourself. You're still you. You're still you. 
It doesn't matter how big you get, you're still the same person you were when you started. All right, guys. That's all I got to say, y'all. Thank you for your time. Once again, Happy New Year. I wish you guys all a prosperous 2015, and I will see you when I see you.